in three, two, one, go. As Autonomous gets started, all three preload game pieces going up for the Blue Alliance. Same can be said for Red, a slight advantage Blue because of the placement of those. Blue's game pieces a little bit higher in their grid compared to those for the Red Alliance. But plenty of scoring happening nonetheless, and robots balanced on that charge station for the 12 points due to being docked and engaged. Midnight Inventors for the Red Alliance, they chase down a cube from the center of the field, cross momentarily back into their community by touching that charge station, and then toss that cube toward their grid. They're about to do it one more time, lowering that arm on occasion to cause their robot to break the plane of the community, making it admissible for them to launch that cube toward the grid. Sometimes they do get lucky and that cube falls right into scoring position for the Red Alliance. Sometimes it lands where there already is a game piece resulting in a potential supercharged node. And sometimes it's available for a teammate to nudge into scoring position right after they drop off one of their more delicate placements, such as the one coming from NerdSpark in red bumpers. NerdSpark rotates their way back in, meets up with a human player, deploys a cone from that manipulator toward their grid as they cross back to their community, navigating around Midnight Inventors. Checking in over on the Blue Alliance side of the field, three links scored so far, very close to having another cube scored. It's just barely sticking out of that grid. It does get a nudge back into scoring position. The Highlanders for the Blue Alliance dropping off three points in that middle row with a cone on one of those poles. Kilobytes does the same in the co-op grid. Kilobytes now do change their target though. They move their positioning to be in a different node on the co-op grid, possibly giving some room for their alliance partner. 35 seconds remaining in the match. Blue Alliance leads it. That's due to their advantage when it comes to placement in the grid. They have five links. Red Alliance having four with 30 seconds left. 1024 kilobytes for the Blue Alliance. No game piece at the moment. It looks like they might be focusing on getting on that charge station with their alliance partners. First one up is Saber Robotics for the Blue Alliance. Midnight Inventors are holding that charge station down for red. Blaze Robotics and NerdSpark joining them. All three robots at a time for Red getting docked and engaged. Same said on the blue side of the field. 30 points all around as time expires. All right, teams, the Red Alliance did get their sixth link, which did get them the win by three points due to that link right at the end for the Red Alliance. That allowed them to catch up with their grid score and bring it to 173 to 170 in favor of the Red Alliance. Four ranking points for red, two for blue.